Welcome back to Mala Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Rache. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I do a lot of styling content here, primarily through thrifted or vintage finds. So if you do like styling content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. So this week, I went back to the American thrift store in Passaic, New Jersey. And initially, because I didn't do accessories last week for summer trends, I was going to try to see if I could find it. Um, but the thing with the thrift stores, you know, it's not predictable. You never know what you're going to find. It's always a treasure hunt. So I like keeping an open mind when I go. But I did find some fun items. So <laughs> I'm just going to go into the come thrift with me and then I'll come back here and I'll show you what I got. So there's a back section downstairs and I did a quick run through um, of the stuff down here. Three of them caught my eye. First it was this Furla white bag. It's, you know, quite marked up, but um, a fun tote bag. It's got to get marked up anyway. <laughs> and this is by Furla. The next one I saw is this one by Fossil. It's a nice, like, teal blue leather bag. It's a long crossbody. There's no option for anything else, so I'm not sure about this. And the last one is this. It's just a black um, straw bag, but it has real wood. Um, handles. I just found another fossil. This would be a fun like shoulder bag, I think. Let's see. So silver shoes are definitely on the trend watch list. This is by Brash, but um, it's a size 7, so it's too small for me. This is a fun ballet flat by Calvin Klein. I'm not sure if I'm feeling the bow. I would have preferred if it was plain. Um, but I like the snake skin and I like the color. We just check it's a size 9, so it's too big anyway. <laughs> this looks quite funky. I'm not sure what brand this is. But I like the um, shape of the front of it. This is by... Ragoni, so we'll see what size is it. Size eight. I also saw this, it's by um GH Bass and Co. But I think this little loafer um, would definitely fit me. What size is it? Uh, so six and a half. Oh, maybe it won't fit me. <laughs> These little fur gommels are so cute. These are probably like a size four, but yeah, very cute. Here's a very Chanel-esque um, yellow and black flex. These are by aerosols. Not really what I'm looking for. In here usually has a lot of Tory Burch, but that's too big. <laughs> They're usually too big or too small for me. I love this like metallic green little pumps. It's not my size, but you know, there are things here. They're just not in my size. <laughs> this is a fun strappy one from Nasty Gal. It has one of those wire top things. I'll try it on. I'm not sure if it's my size, but I'll try it on. <laughs> fun blue pair from Michael Kors. These are so cute. Again, too big. Oh, I'm not gonna have any luck, am I? Fun more Tory, Tory Birch in this fun orange color. It is $79, but it's one of those cute little wedges, and wedges are absolutely back for this summer. But yeah, too big. More shoes that are too big for me. There's some element like woven shoes, which is also a spring, um, summer trend. Well, if I was looking for some jelly shoes, they would have been here. <laughs> by the droves they're actually all size nine so they still wouldn't be anything here to fit me because it's a sea of size nine jelly shoes it's fine it's fine i missed out it's okay i don't know why but this used to be a nice big mirror here that i do my try on and it's gone so i don't know why well i think i finally find my hawaiian shirt that I can get behind. Not too much going on. I love the color and it has some lemons. <laughs> so this might be my cabana shirt after all. 
I absolutely love this color. Um, it's like a pink with blue and green stripes um, and the white color. It is a Lauren Ralph Lauren. It has a different logo on this side, which is absolutely lovely. So you're coming with me 100%. <laughs> I thought this was a fun print. It looks like, uh, well, it's in the sleepwear section. So it's uh, like a duster, but I love the print on this. I think if you belt it, you know, this would be a fun little peasant type dress. <laughs> what do you think? I can't tell what this label is. It looks like it could be vintage, um, but it doesn't feel vintage. It feels very new, so I'm not sure. I'm in the suit section and I just did a roundup of the ones that I'm liking. I loved the little details on this. It's a skirt suit, which I know I'm not going to wear. It's also on the hem, but I thought this was so cute. That I needed to show you. <laughs> this is another like nice little embroidered suit. I loved um, the color of it and you know that like brocade type um, embroidery on it. Um, again, it's a skirt suit. It is an ankline. It's a size four, so it would fit. Uh, but I'm not. I'm not sure because if you could cut the hem on this, it could be really cute. Um, this is a little Barbie moment. <laughs> this again, even though it's a skirt suit, if I just shorten the hem and just wear a little tank under it, this would be a really fun um, suit, you know, transitional Barbie, Barbie core, maybe. Um, I loved this one. This is like a very heavy orange fabric. I love the double breasting on this. I'm not seeing a label. I'm not sure if the label was removed, but this feels like it could be a designer piece. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if it would fit. It looks a bit small as well, but coming into um, transitioning, transitioning into fall, this would be a really good, um, you know, skirt suit, put on little boots as it gets colder. But yeah, this would be a fun one. I'm sorry I'm doing fall, <laughs> but <laughs> opportunity calls. This little um, vintage one, I just loved the color of it. Um, it has these cute little faux pockets on it. Not sure if you can see well, but it's like a dress with just a little, this little bolero type thing, which I thought um, was a very cute little thing as well. A cute little vintage piece, cropped sleeve. But yeah, you haven't seen me gone into suits or blazers for quite a while, um, and I couldn't avoid it this time. <laughs> this is a pantsuit by Ellen Tracy. It is also double breasted. I loved like the pocket details over here um, with the single one here. Um, this one is going to be very tempting for me. It is a size four, so it's my size. <gasps> then we have a Casper. You know, I love a Casper. It's in this like beige um, brown thing. This again is a double breasted suit, but this um, fabulous like 70s. <laughs> Um, contrasting color it's calling my name again it's a size 4 so it's gonna be tough this one I could not believe this is um, coat it's by Le Cite, and it comes with a skirt so a perfect transitional little outfit this because you know I could have a t-shirt and <laughs> um, this little skirt and just have this over that would be so fun and finally we have another Casper but it's like in this suede fabric it's also a skirt set if it was really long then it would have been a good midi skirt suit but um, at this length it would be better off as a mini than just a mid so it doesn't look workwear did a quick browse through of shorter dresses. Um, I liked the color on this, but not the style. Um, but in general, not a lot. You have this awesome little vintage polyester number. This is a fun one. It has some gold um, bars here. I don't see a brand on it. It just says 100% um, wool. It looks vintage, but a really, really nice structured dress. Just saw this this could definitely go for like a one of those darker um, Chanel outfits that they had on the catwalk it has like some little flare um, definitely like the Chanel esque kind of chain on it yeah it is an extra large so I'll pass on it but this would have been a fun one
16. One of the reasons I wanted to go back to American Thrift Store is because they have a sporting section and I wanted to get a tennis racket. So <laughs> on my bucket list for summer, I wanted to go and, you know, practice some tennis, play some tennis, relearn tennis. I did a little in high school and I've always wanted to go back. So for my summer bucket list, I have a tennis um, lesson on Sunday. So I went and got this little racket. Not that I have no confidence in my abilities, but I thought before I went whole hog and bought all the gear, I thought I'd try out, you know, just this little one and it cost me $4. So the one the trainer recommended is a hundred dollars in Amazon, but I'm like, let me hold on to that hundred dollars. <laughs> see how I get along with thy tennis and then I'll go and get you know the stuff but yeah so that was my grand inspiration for going back to the American Thrift Store but let's get into the haul so the first thing that I got I got two shirts um, I did go ahead and get this um, it's my lemons but in this fun um, it's more it's richer than a sky blue i just really love the color blue of this and i thought this is such a fun fun shirt i finally got my cabana shirt this is by original use that's what the label looks like um it is in it is from the men's section it is a size large made in bangladesh um you know it feels like a rayon you know that really soft fabric is it um, yeah, 100% rayon. So <laughs> absolutely love this. Of course, I hold up a blue and I turn orange. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully I can fix it. But um, yeah, so that's the first thing that I got. So first up, it's this little cabana shirt. I paired it with my white pencil skirt from last week's haul. And I absolutely love it. Paired it with some strappy white heels and it's just really easy breezy and light um just so you can see the color a little better i love to give a little bag option so i could go with the straw bag with um leather accent white leather accent keeping the look nice and light or lighter this is a kate spade look um shoulder slash crossbody bag so i could go raffia or I could go ahead and pull out the blues and go with the Prada Galleria in this fabulous like sky blue color. I do have a crossbody. I got this, this little contrasting um, crossbody in yellow. So I could also wear this crossbody if I wanted to. So this is just such a cute little um, relaxed look and I love this. Next up, you saw me look at this little pink stripe i just loved the green and blue stripe in this pink shirt it's by Ra lauren ralph lauren this is the lauren ralph lauren logo but i just really loved this color i love the white color the little pop of color there it is a mid what do you call it three quarter sleeves so you know quite nice and breezy for the current weather well not today today is quite hot but <laughs> loved the colors and I thought I had to have this. So next up is this fun striped shirt. I decided to style it up a little bit for you. I could have just put it with jeans but I thought I'd make it a little more fun, dress it up a little bit. So I've just paired it with this pencil maxi. This is more of a stretchy one so it like clings a little more. Kept the same strappy white heels on because it goes nicely with the little color. Put on a bold choker um, necklace grab a little white bag so you have that pop of white running through but dressing it up a little more i love dressing up a shirt and when i do that i tend to bun it all the way up just to accentuate and with the white color i thought you know it would work really nicely with that the sleeves this is the length of the sleeves it doesn't bun so it just stays open which is perfectly fine for me i do love when the sleeves are nicely are just loose so yeah so this is how i've styled it again you know i could have just thrown it on with some jeans for a more casual look or put jeans on with some heels but i thought because it's so hot i don't want to put jeans on today <laughs> a nice breathable maxi skirt you know we're trending with maxis you know any maxi you can find that's nice and breathable just try, try to style it up quite a few ways and i think you know 
you still have some summer and I think a style like this goes nicely into the fall so yeah so this is how I've styled this just a fun little vintage um, white shoulder bag you know I could still throw it on over my shoulder if I wanted to but I'm just you know have it as a clutch for this look so yeah next up a few videos ago I was on the hunt for like some designer dupes and I was seeing you know close to Miss Sony but I couldn't quite find the right print that I wanted so when I saw this one this screams Missoni so I absolutely had to pick this up it is by Venetia Jeans Clothing Co but I thought this is my perfect like Missoni dupe so I thought why not let me just grab it um the colors I think will be great for fall as well with that orange and that deep green I think it'll be great for fall so even if I just want to throw it on now as like a swim cover-up um and then in the fall I can wear it but I, I don't know, I just had to grab this. So that's the next thing that I got. This is what I mean. I didn't go thrifting with the intention of starting to find fall stuff. I did say, you know, maybe August I'd start going into, you know, early grabs for fall items, which August is not that early, but now that they're bringing out some really solid pieces, for instance, I just could not pass up on this set. So it's a skirt. Um, I think the skirt would be better off a little shorter to get it a little more modernized and then it comes with a whole trench you know I would have bought the trench alone but the fact that I can you know make it nice and funky with a matching skirt I thought I had to have it this is by Le Soute. good old vintage Le Soute label and um, I just I just had to so I'm sorry guys I am starting off with a little fall fall fashion pray for me because it's like 90 degrees so next up is this fun set i am dying <laughs> i'll be quick so this is what this looks like i absolutely love that i've thrown on the missoni um type top because i think it would go perfectly with this and that's kind of what I had in mind. Um, grabbed this Prada Galleria in the orange. It works perfectly with this tone and absolutely love it. Um, I kind of don't mind the skirt in this length, but I think I could take it up a little more. There's no buttons. I just tucked it in a wrap, but just so you can see what this looks like. I keep saying Missoni. It's not Missoni. Um, it's Missoni lookalike. <laughs> It has a slight little bell sleeve and I think um, even if I threw this on with pants would be really good so I'll either turn it into a wrap top or put some buttons on it. I really like what it looks like now but yeah so this is what this looks like. Let me put my coat back on. Of course you could style this you know this would be great with like a uh, mock neck or some other like turtleneck like when it gets colder. Um, I might take the skirt up a little more. I think it would modernize it a lot. So yeah so this is what this looks like. If you've been watching this channel for a while you know that I am screaming. Over the last find absolutely I had to get this suit with this statement color like are you kidding me you know this is you know giving me gucci vibes i do love me a gucci moment and when i saw this suit you know it was between this and the other one i did when i tried the blazer on for the um i think it was the ellen tracy it didn't fit as well as this one did basically and so between the both of them i just went i this, you know, this was coming anyway, but whether or not I was just getting this or getting both of them, I just decided to grab this. So <laughs> that's the last thing that I got and I cannot wait to wear this. And finally, I have this suit and I absolutely love it. I love this pop um, with the statement color. I just paired it with a pair of yellow kitten heels, the Gucci vintage clutch from the video line. And I just... I just love <laughs> love this suit and yeah I just I don't know I have no words but what I also noticed was that I can absolutely like put the cuffs over as well and get more of that color pop for the suit can you believe the drama on this and then you know if I'm wearing jewelry etc now it is you know bracelet length 
and absolutely fabulous. So this is how this looks. In true Gucci fashion, I decided to add this dynamic print if I wanted to, you know, just leave it open and relax. Added a Gucci like doctor duffel bag. Um, also from the Ophidia line. I love the Ophidia line from Gucci. Um, <laughs> kept the heels on. Still very sophisticated, but very casual everyday wear kind of look. Well, not everyday wear, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I wish I could wear this every day. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like with the jacket, the blazer open. And one of the things that I love with the Gucci aesthetic kind of style is the pairing of unusual thing. So I saw my Birkenstocks and it went perfectly with <laughs> this suit. So making it really casual, really um, everyday kind of wearable. I've added back the Gucci clutch and I've just paired it with this um, My Little Jamaica t-shirt. It's like this fun pop of pink that I thought, you know, bringing out the green tones. I'd match it with my little green hat and it's just bringing out the green in this taupe. And I thought, you know, such a fun wearable piece. Uh, glasses are by Dior, but absolutely, you know, if I want to get the most wear out of the suit that I love, I don't want it sitting in the closet. And this is one way to, you know, really get the full wear out of it, being able to wear it for every day. So this is the final thing that I got. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look is your favorite, what piece is your favorite as well. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd love for you to join the family. And if you did like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.